current trends don't really affect our work, okay? What we're trying to be is timeless, chic, elegant, but with color, with flair, with pop. I don't ever want to give a client something that in one year's time, two years time, five years time, A, someone else will be able to recognize that that was done in 2021, or it's gone out of date. It's gotta be timeless. The journey began in 1990 when I came back from Tokyo, having just had a baby. Um, and so I started up a concierge business with a friend. It was the beginning of concierge. There was previously, there'd be no one to help you with things when you were living abroad. You know, property management wasn't done very well by the property management companies. There was no one to send invitations if you wanted to send invitations to a party that you were having in the, UK and you were coming back from Tokyo. So we did that and eventually it sort of stopped and I sold the company and started up Kevin Designs, the interior design business and it's luckily grown and flourished from there. My inspiration comes from um, years of doing this. And as you grow older and you grow more bold and you don't care what other people think, it actually becomes easier to just do what you want. And for years and years, I mean, obviously rental properties, there's a look. You need to have it beige or gray or fairly mute, muted and neutral so that people can move in and stamp their own personality on it. For our clients, they now specifically come to us because they know that we're not going to give them beige or boring. We're going to give them that something that has a wow and people will walk in and go, wow, why didn't I think of that? Or can I have that? Um, so I think, you know, over the years, it's, it, it, it's a sort of culmination of, of lots of things. I don't know, I travel a lot haven't traveled a lot for the last year, really miss it. But social media is now a great place to go for inspiration. Okay, the process from start to finish. Start really early with your interior designer. Whoever you use, start at the beginning. The minute you have the idea to do your house, don't hire your architect, don't hire your builder, don't hire your project manager, don't hire your QS. Talk to your interior designer. Explain what you want to achieve out of the project because they will advise you so much better about which architect might help you, which garden designer might help you, if they understand the whole concept. And you have to start way, way, way back in the front, the front end of the project. It's not just about an interior designer doesn't just choose the colour of the wall and pop in a sofa, okay? They're responsible for the flow and the feel and the, the way the whole house works. You know, the architect is responsible for the body and the mass and making sure the plumbing's in the right place and that it pops up where the interior designer wants the tap in the bathroom. But the interior designer is so integral to your house being exactly how you want it.